What's up guys, in this video, we are going to integrate our hosting our mail with our Gmail. So let's get started. Now at the end of the video, let's see what we are going to achieve. So this is how I am going to achieve this. So we are getting this from and we can select our email IDs here. So to select this e email, what we have to do is I have done one, this one, this link to this one is uh, mentioned in the description and I am performing all the actions in my South of 98 Gmail ID. Okay. Now what I have to do is I have to go to settings as per this one. This one, I have to go to settings and inside the settings, I will see, see all settings and in this one i will go down 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 and what i have to do is here i will go to this forwarding and pop i i map and in here i have to enable this one and enable imap also and safety changes i think so keep on the make in the inbox yeah save it okay now let's go to settings again and here i inside the accounts and import I will add one email ID also. Add email ID here. And in this email ID, what I will specify is actually at the red rdtech dot in. Okay. Now next hit next. And because I SGMP is different, so this is my hosting or one. So I will provide this link also in the description. So 465 is and host is this one. So copy this host and copy it. And go back. Yeah. Now paste it here. Port port is 465. Port is 465 and type the password. Now secure is SSL as per the given SSL or TLS. I will use SSL and then add account. Okay. Now verification code has been sent to my email. So what I have to go to my hosting our email and verify my account. Using verification code, so I will go here. This hosting or mail, okay. So I have opened it here. Yeah, so this is my hosting or mail. So this is the confirmation send here, and yeah. So this is confirmation is this one, this code. Copy it. And uh, go back here. Um here this one. Paste it here and verify it. Now my account has been added i think so yeah this one make it default or make it default this means that uh, whenever you choose we'll show this one as default now let's go back and see how changes has been working or not yeah now we can add this one and send email so i can send email to 
let's throw away the read our data from throw by the data data dot in uh i can send email to 98 email id and hi okay so i have received in my inbox from provider target token so this is how you will configure it now the next thing is importing all the emails like he, those emails to here fine so whenever any email arrives in your hosting or it will automatically get fetched and placed it here so to do this what we have to do is use this one so see this my one email has arrived from uh, my inbox because i have an email right here so what i have to do is configure this one here so i for this i will use one more email id it is uh, this one business at retardedtech.in1 and what i have to do is i will go to settings here again see all settings and inside this one filter account on uh, this accounts and import i will have to import uh, contact and mail so what i will do let me see which email id i am using so this email id and uh, what i will do is instead of using this email id i will use a different one right now i will use my this email id and here i will select is settings oh why it is okay now i will go to see all settings and in see all settings i will go to account and import and then this one import mail and accounts from other account so i will use this at the rate rt tag now i will continue it and here i will specify the password specify the password and the username business dot in and here in this pop server what i have to specify is uh, the pop server details so for the pop server details go to their uh, hosting our website which is available here okay pop server details is this one who is the host in 995 is the port port so uh, this one is the host and in the post port i have to 90 95 ssl is enabled so i will continue Uses so I should enable. I think it gets cancelled because I have not. Yeah, so I will use and now continue. I haven't even enabled SSL. So in this way, we are going to configure it. Uh, you have to enable SSL and then whenever uh, let's, I will leave it and show you how we are doing this. So I have already configured it in my one. So I will go here and 
from this mail the dot in subject is hi and send it so this email id is sent now let's see it has been arrived or not so this import has not been started okay okay so this email id i am using is equal to 01 is mentioned i have to open so this is my email id which has been configured to import all the mails from my string and let's see my my new mail has been picked or not so this is my mail here my old mail has been picked wait for some time and it will be automatically picked up by pop3 because i have already configured this yeah so these mails has been arrived from here yeah i will refresh it see this already so this is how we are going to configure uh, our email also for sending the mails and inbox also for receiving the mails so thanks for watching and for more video like share subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss the video